I love it when all these legislators sit up there, look beautiful in front of the camera, push the pen, but they don't have any idea, any concept of what it's going to take to pass this law. Well, those are fiery words tonight from the Democratic Registrar of Voters under fire over that Hartford voting debacle. Olga Vasquez is on the defensive trying to explain those delays in Hartford and why some voters were turned away this morning when they tried to vote. Some polling locations in Hartford didn't have that voter registration list to check those names off and that caused major problems today. Yeah, become, because some voters there were essentially denied their right to vote because they didn't have the list and couldn't check who was there voting, a judge had to extend the polling hours tonight at two places and call for a complete investigation into what went wrong. News Ace Bob Wilson talked with one of the people sure to be at the center of that investigation over what happened this morning. Bob? Yeah, you had question what went wrong. I asked her point blank. She's one of three registered voters in Hartford, and they have three staff members, and she says, you know what? It's still not enough. There's a lot of people out there. The absentee ballots, there were about 2,000 absentee ballots that came in, and she says those absentee ballots Still had to be crossed off on the books. That's why the, the rolls weren't there available when they were opening up. And she says they just got a late start because of a really bad problem. There was a dead man on the ballot, Robert Killian Sr. Okay? So we had to rectify here at City Hall. The ballot was reissued, reprinted, we received. It threw us off. Now everyone is saying the registrar's office. Why couldn't you run? You, you continue to cut our budget. We're down to two or three staffs. In the next couple of days, I plan to have a conversation with our council president, our city council, and take whatever appropriate action needs to happen to protect one of the things that is very valuable in this city for our voters. We have a city that is very poor economically. We have a lot of poverty in our city. The only one thing, the only one thing that our residents have, which is of equal wealth, to anyone else in this state is their vote. And we need to protect that. And uh, he is very passionate about it. She's passionate about it. She said it has been a long night. She didn't even leave till last night till about 1 or 2 in the morning. Got here this morning at 4 in the morning to try and get those polls rolling. It did not happen. And they're at, uh, the mayor calling for a full investigation and maybe even a full overhaul of how they do business in Hartford. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.